guys welcome back to my channel today i wanted to share with you some of the products that i regret buying for when my son was a baby granted they may have changed some of the products around but amir is only two and i made this list back when i was still breastfeeding and things like that so this is about a year old but like i said still relevant things so let's get to it i I forgot to grab some of them out of Amir's room. Some of these things I still have, some of them I do not. I forgot to grab them and he is taking a nap. So I would just be inserting pictures to show you exactly what I mean. I do have some of the things though with. Number one is a boppy pillow. Don't start going in the comments. I do like the boppy pillow. I was just disappointed that I couldn't use it for longer because once they can kind of like sit up on their own and they're a little bit bigger, you don't really need it to like prop them up and nurse them on but when they are tiny it is a nice purchase so if you do buy a boppy pillow I suggest buying it like from someone like secondhand or I bought mine from Marshalls for like maybe ten dollars or something like that so if you do buy one don't buy like a 40 50 dollar boppy pillow because you're not going to use it there for that long it's just good for when they're tiny and then when they're trying to sit up because you just kind of prop them up and on the floor other than that don't spend a lot of money on it number two is a diaper genie and same type of concept. It's kind of nice, but they get full super fast, I feel like, and super heavy. Their poops don't smell that bad, especially if they're breastfed at first. So if you're not in an apartment and you can just like toss it in the dumpster, I feel like it's not that bad to just toss it in the dumpster. Other than that, the pee diapers we just put in the trash after a while, and I can't remember the last time we used his diaper genie. He's not in diapers during the day now. He just uses them at night because he's not nighttime body trained, but yeah, the diaper genie was kind of short-lived. It's only really good for stinky poops, but you just kind of got to weigh your options. Don't spend a lot of money on a diaper genie. Just me. Number three are boogie wipes. Honestly, I would carry them around in his diaper bag and I would forget. They're like the saline wipes. I guess if your kid is sick or gets a lot of runny noses, cool. But other than that, I forgot most of the time or just used a baby wipe or a tissue. He was fine. Like I said, if they're sick maybe because it's like wet, but I wouldn't buy a bunch of those. Four, passy wipes. Once again, I would forget they were around. And I would just end up rinsing it in the sink with hot water or washing it. I wouldn't really wipe them. And I feel like he made funny faces with the taste. I mean, it's supposed to be tasteless, but I think it was like baking soda or something. I don't know. He didn't really like the wipe flavor on his passy if it fell and I wiped it with that. And I forgot about them. They would just dry out. Pretty sure there's a dried out pack somewhere in his closet right now because I forgot about them. Five would be these. And I have these right now. They are the nook ultra thin nursing pads these suck unless you are like established nurser but early on i leak through these super fast i'm not sure if i have a pair in here because just some random stuff in here actually i do have a pair yes because they suck you see how thin that is yeah and if you breastfed before or you may not have once you kind of like get established, it's not that bad with leaking. But if you're not, I worked at a daycare and whenever I would be around other kids, he, they would be crying. My boobs would just leak. And when my boobs were kind of like trying to get my milk leveled off and not like overproduce, they leaked right through these things, especially at night. I would usually use breast pads at night. No, super flimsy, didn't hold anything. I would just be upset because my shirt would be wet. And I leaked through my shirt one time and that would get into why now. Disposable breast pads. <laughs> These things are extra thin too. Uh, once you have established your milk supply, great option. I wanted to try these because I wanted to be all eco-conscious and not have disposable breast pads, but I leaked through these completely and I was at work one time. It was really awkward because the whole front of my shirt was all wet. Like I said, I worked in a daycare around infants and I had to go get a new work shirt that day because I didn't even know they were leaking. I just looked down and was like, whoa, why is my shirt? damp because like my arm touched or something and yeah maybe later on not to sleep in not early on like after your baby's born wait a little bit or you're gonna have some embarrassing moments if you want a breast pad that actually does work i really 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 like these lanosol i'll insert the name right here breast pads and i really like that they're in like their that they have this little um paper around them because then you can just throw them in your bag and you know they're not getting like dirty or anything and I really like that they have a sticky side, so kind of like a pad, they just kind of stick to your breast or nursing tank top and you don't have to worry about it moving. These obviously will move around depending on what you're doing, but I just kind of liked how sturdy these were and they're more absorbent than the 
sucky nook breast pads. Don't ask me why I still have these. I don't know. They're in my nightstand and I've been going through stuff so we can move and I found them. Not sure if I should keep them or what. I'm not having a kit for a little longer, so they're here. And I don't know what number I'm on, but the next one is a breast pump that plugs into a wall. I will insert the one that I have right here. It's somewhere in Amir's room, I think. Like I said, he's taking a nap, so I can't get it. But that was kind of a pain in the butt because if we were traveling or something like that, I couldn't get to an outlet all the time or I had to like find an outlet and the little cord was kind of short. So if you plan on nursing other places, try to get one that has a like, car adapter I've seen. So it's easier for you to like pump, sorry, when you're out in public, out and about versus always trying to have to find an outlet because they're not always easily accessible and you don't want to be like, you don't want to have to be stuck to the outlet for like 30 to 45 minutes. It kind of sucks while you pump. And last but not least, you're probably like, what? Why are you saying this? Pacifiers. Not saying do not buy pacifiers, but do not buy a bunch of pacifiers. People gave us pacifiers at his baby shower, got free pacifiers from registries like Target. They give you a little gift pack and we had a bunch. A lot of kids aren't going to take every single type of pacifier, so I recommend buying like one of like each little type because the hospital has one and I think it's the, the Nook brand maybe. I'll insert a little picture of what those look like. They're little cute little passies. He actually loved that one. But not for long. And then the mom, mom, whatever that is from Target, he didn't like those. The regular size pads, he didn't like those. Kids like different types. And maybe breastfed kids are weird about their like pacifier nipples, but my kid did not like pacifiers. We would try to get him to take it, he would just go. <laughs> and it would just throw, like, be on the floor all the time. Like I said, he only liked the hospital ones, and those are free, and they give you like a couple more once you leave. So don't go out buying a bunch of passies because. They might not like them and then you're just wasting money so be mindful of that and that's about it i plan to make a baby items must have and like pregnancy must haves so if you have any other mommy related videos feel free to leave those in the comments and i'll be sure to do them and if you like these type of videos don't forget to give this a thumbs up and thanks for watching